I'm here at Ferns Country Store with Larry Bearfield and Robin Emerson, the owners of Ferns Country Store. Um, when did you guys first think about starting Ferns Country Store? Ooh, that goes back a long time, huh? Yeah, after uh, we owned an advertising agency for about 25 years in Boston, and after we closed that, when, when that industry got really, really stupid, um, we decided to, uh, to try a different career, and uh, so this uh, we started thinking about this. It would have been probably early 2003. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. We, did, uh, we did research for about a year. Um, we, we visited country stores all over New England to because this store was a was an old rundown kind of a kind of a place, and we knew we wanted to remodel. Um, our business plan called for uh, uh, undrying the town. The town had been dry for 150 years, and so we wanted to do that. Um, so we visited stores to see what what other country stores looked like and, and what we wanted to do. And quite frankly, we never found it. So we we ended up building and remodeling and building a hybrid of, of stores and in our own imagination we kind of said this is this is what we think a store ought to look like these are this is the qualities we knew that we wanted to have a deli we knew we wanted to have a grocery we knew we wanted to have a wine and beer shop a cafe coffee bakery so it became a question of how do you how do you build that and more importantly how do you build it so that when when somebody walks in the door they can immediately say oh, this place is cool that was that was the challenge that was Robin's sort of end to, to do all that. Yeah, and I mean the colors are important, you know, the, the flowers are important, you know, it's all in the little details. Well, um, I think first I would say that we're a lot more than just subs and pizzas. We um, designed way back about 12 different sandwiches that we call signature sandwiches, and out of those, I would guess that the, um, the bog, the Carlisle um, bog, is probably our favorite and is the most popular sandwich. We have lots of paninis, which we also designed. Some of them were designed by the employees, which always is fun, and some of them were designed by us. Um, and pizza-wise, I'm not sure. I think maybe the meaty sweetie is probably the most popular. Have you ever won awards um, for store or food? And what can what does Friends Country Store do for the community of Carlisle, Massachusetts? Well, those are two huge questions. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we uh, we we are proud to have received the Massachusetts Retailer of the Year um, by the uh, uh, Massachusetts uh, Retail, Association. Retail Association. So we beat out small little upstarts like Macy's and you know Lord and Taylor and you know starts like those guys. Uh, we're real proud of that one. That, that was huge. Um, we received the New England Business of the Year. We received a New England Community Service Award. Um, and uh, just as recently, we received um, New England Food Service Award. We were number one in that um, by the New England Community Store Association. Uh, Robin was chosen as a Businesswoman of the Year by the Massachusetts uh, Family Business Association. So we, we got a list of, of awards that are all on the website, and, and we're proud of that. And not only that, I think most importantly that it represents what our employees do. I, I, we, yeah. we, we can have a store and we can set it all up, but it's really the employees who are the front line, and they're the ones that have to carry it out and make sure that, that everything we've designed is consistent and every customer walks away with a fabulous experience. Um, Community-wise, um, we, we, from the outstart, um, because we're the, we're the only retail store in, in Massachusetts, and not in Massachusetts, Carlisle. Um, Seemingly sometimes mentions. <laughs> we we uh, uh, there's a there's a bank here, uh, uh, you know, a little ATM. There's some real estate offices. There's a, a, a gallery of local artisans across the street. But that's it. There's there's nothing else here. So we from the from the get go, it was important to us that that the store um, really be the anchor of the community and and really showcase the community. So we're involved with things like we run the annual tree lighting ceremony at Christmas every year. We're involved with the Carlisle Road Race, where we sponsor that. We do uh, annually the Wounded Warriors Soldier Ride comes to this region, and we're the only water stop, um, so we handle that for them. So and on and on and on, we do we do a lot for the community. It's important to us. Um, I noticed your truck says um, Canteen Crew for the fire department. What do you do for the fire department? Well, the, our fire department um, is, uh, is a call fire department, and what that means, um, and it's, I believe it's the only call department within Route 495 within this region of Massachusetts, as opposed to a volunteer department, the, 
the firefighters um, on the department are on call. And, and when they get called out, they, 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 they get a stipend. So we don't have a full-time staff fire department. When our, our department responds to a major incident, it's not like after you know a four or five or six hour shift, another crew comes in and takes over for them. Our crew is there for the duration. So, so we're, we're the canteen crew, we, we come up when there's a big incident, we get called along with a volunteer group that we're part of, and we provide food and sustenance and hydration for the firefighters. Uh, and we're on call 24-7, so whenever it happens, you never know when it's going to be an emergency. So we go out for that. And they're usually not when the store is open. <laughs> it yeah, seems yeah. like it's yeah. usually in the middle of the night, yeah, the which is fine. Night, and and we get fine. the call and, 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 we, and we respond. Yeah. yeah. What is it like being uh, the only store in a small town? <laughs> well, you know, it, it's it's really quite nice because, um, you know, you get to know practically everybody in town. We've, we've had the store now for over 12 years, so the, the little kids that were born in town now are almost graduating from college, and the kids that were starting college when we first started are now out and having careers, and especially with the kids, and a lot of them work at the store, they come back to visit us and to tell us what, what they're doing and how they're doing, and, and that's really wonderful, you know? So um, I think that's probably, yeah, that, we, that's probably the recently, best part. Uh, recently we had one of our former employees who worked for us a number of years ago, he's in the Air Force, and his family has moved away. He was being deployed, he was in the United States being deployed overseas to Iceland, and he made a, a point of stopping back to, to yeah. the store to say goodbye to us. Yeah, and, and isn't you that go, sweet? How, yeah. how, I mean, how that's cool just like that? so just, sweet. That, that speaks volumes. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and, and Robin's right, I think having, having the only store in town um, comes with the fiduciary responsibility. From a business perspective, what's it like? Um, there's not many opportunities to have a monopoly, and yeah. we, we have a virtual monopoly here in, in within five miles, uh, both in the store and the beer and wine shop, and that's pretty good business-wise. Yeah. Yeah. We like that. It's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. What is the history of the name Ferns? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I think that's one that you just have to go to the website. We, um, Larry and I, came up with the name. And um, Old Lady Ferns is pictured in the, um, in the cafe, uh, along with Lou Brimfield. And um, on our website, we go into it in great detail on how we got to the name. Yeah, www.fernscountrystore.com. Um, there's, there's a button right on top, how, how we got the name. And uh, it's a long story, but it's a good story, yeah. Good and sad. Good and, and sad. And, yeah, and good, yeah. Good. What is the history of the building? Is it a brand new building? Is it the same building that was here originally? This, the building goes back, well, there's always been a building here since the 1800s. It's burned down twice, right? Well, the last, the last yeah. fire, major fire here was um, in 1925, and it took out uh, the entire building. The, the, the two-story part of the building here is uh, 1930. Um, we, our plan was always to, to double the size, remodel, so, so we revamped the entire inside of the store, um, as well as our stocking area. Um, the, the garage became our wine and beer shop, our offices are upstairs in the garage, and then the middle building, uh, the main entrance, is, is brand new. And of course we have our, our piazza with the gardens and the waterfall and the perennial flowers, and it's just it's a fabulous spot. That we added I saw bricks in the um, piazza out there. What are the bricks for and what, yeah, pretty much why are they there for? Well, when we first decided we were going to put uh, the piazza in, um, we really thought that the community would like to have a place where they could put a brick that either um, signifies, some of them signifies their, their animals, some signify the whole family. Um, and it was just a way of the community to be able to come to um, Ferns and have a little bit of them also there. Yeah, there's a number, number of families in here. I think, uh, uh, indeed, I 
I think you yeah. have a, your family has a brick in there. Yeah. Exactly. I think. Yeah. I think just that, you know, when Larry and I first started down this um, road, I actually, I remember the day that he came back. We have offices at our house. And I remember the day that he came back and sat down in my office and he said, we're going to buy daisies. And I went, yeah, OK, that sounds, that sounds good. How hard could that be? Well, it was pretty hard. Um, but um, in the long run, it's been really a, a wonderful growing experience. And it's been wonderful to watch something grow like this and to have a community who really enjoys the store, which really is the bottom line. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that. And we, we've been in business for a long time to, as partners, so um, we have very distinct roles. And so I think the operations of the store are pretty complex. We you know, probably have, a, you know, I don't know how many thousands of products, and we have, I don't know how many vendors, and we're constantly receiving or shipping or doing something every single day. Um, so we average probably um, at probably four to 500 customers a day. So that's, that's a lot. And our staff size is around 20. Um, depending on the season um, so it's a it's a busy 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 shop um, and it is nice I think the times when when we bang our heads against the wall and you know, have the frustrations of being a business owner uh, sometimes we just you know think back and try to recall what it was when we started and kind of say well you know what we're, we're doing okay yeah we're doing okay and we you know I think that we encourage people who are entrepreneurs and a lot of people come to us a lot and say what's it like you know I'm thinking of doing something and we talk to people and try to help them out and sort of give them the upsides and the downsides and the reality of life um, and, and that's you know that's I, I, we encourage people to be entrepreneurs it's, it's there's nothing more fulfilling than that yeah. so it, it's, it's fun to grow something and have it and create something that is your being yeah. so but it is about the community I think. yeah yeah, yeah it, is. it is yeah. yeah and we're lucky that Carlisle is a great community yeah. you know with a lot of really wonderful people who support us yeah. it's important we, we appreciate this opportunity. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Luke. If anyone wants to get uh, in contact or find out where Friends is or find out more, yeah. where should they go or who should they call? Well, we have um, we have the website. Uh, again, it's uh, fernscountrystore.com, and there's a, a directions button on there that gives you directions from Boston, from North Shore, from South Shore. There's even directions on there if you fly into the local airport. It tells you you know what the headings are and how to get here. Um, you can parachute our, in. You can parachute in, I suppose. Yeah. We often thought of writing having the name on the roof of the store. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure the store commission would go for that. Um, so all the information is on there, everything about the store, great photos, great Halloween photos when we have hundreds and hundreds of families come here to trick-or-treat, which is fabulous. Um, you can also like us on Facebook, Ferns Country Store um, on Facebook, um, and those are the primary reaches that way. Yeah. Yeah.